Hey guys, there are so many great options for guns in the Ascent that it's impossible to settle down for one or the other. However, early on in the game, it's important to find the right one to fit your playstyle and get you through the campaign. Based on my experience, today I'm going to discuss some of the best options to keep your eyes on. So let's go. My name is Wes and thanks for tuning into the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, a like, comment, or consider subscribing would go a long way. But know that your being here already means a lot. Anyway, with all the options you have for guns in this game, you will most likely find one that you would love to stick to. Early in the game, you will find some guns that you either like or don't like. This is a run and gun game, so you don't have time to mess around. Your first gun, the pistol, is not going to cut it. You need some firepower to deal with these aggressive enemies in this game. Most likely the first best option you will find is the Dread. It's an assault rifle that can get you through the first missions in the game until you can find something better. It's normally a random drop but most weapons can be purchased through the weapons vendors all throughout the game. But they only show up in the vendors inventory based on where you are in the campaign and what level your character might be at a particular time. Anyway, the Dread has a clip size of 45 and a reload speed of 1 second. It's not too bad for the first part of the game, but what you really need to look for is the HMG-42 Dominator. Unlike the Dread, this is a machine gun with a clip size of 100 and a reload time of 2 seconds. 1 second slower than the Dread assault rifle, but that basically means nothing. Think about it, you have 100 bullets in the mag to mow down your enemies, and if you invest your skill points in the right place, reload should not be a problem at all. Again, this is a running and gunning game, I will talk about the best skill to invest your points in after I finish showing you all the best weapons you need early on in the game. Back to the Dominator. You should consider upgrading this gun as high as you can, not completely maxed out, but enough to get you through. Simply because you might end up spending a lot of time with this gun, it's one of the top 3 choices in the game, in my opinion. Next in the list, but first, you need to understand that for every loadout, you need to consider incorporating an energy weapon in one of the slots while going through the campaign. Although this is not a must, you should at least have one readily available. So. If you can find an energy weapon early, it will be in your best interest because it will help you tremendously deal with any mech enemies like the Siege Mech, the Mega Arachnoid aka the Spider Boss. Energy weapons will be great for those types of enemies. So the best weapon you need to look for is the EBR Enforcer. If you're lucky, you might find it as an RNG drop very early in the game. Otherwise, you have to wait till you complete the Trace Protocol mission, then it will be available through the weapons vendors. At least that was my experience because I was not lucky early on in the game. Now, the reason why I believe the EBR Enforcer is the best choice is because this gun has homing bullets, which means it will track its targets, thereby allowing you to stay at a safe distance and still destroying your enemies. By the way, this is the best gun for the spider boss fight if you have it available. Now, if RNG is not on your side, you will have to find other methods to deal with those mech enemies. One thing to keep in mind, augment like the neutron beam does a great job with those mech enemies. So you still have a fighting chance, however, there's also another gun that you can use as an alternative to the EBR enforcer. It's the E77 Superior Energy Assault Rifle. You will have a better chance at finding this early on as a random drop, but you should always check the vendors if RNG is not on your side. Again, you need an energy weapon as early as possible, and the E77 is a pretty decent one that you can find very early in the game. Talking about weapons you can find early in the game, the RPG-23 launcher is a great option that can help you fight those mech enemies as well. The RPG-23 launcher was my saving grace in the spider boss fight. This in conjunction with the neutron beam was what got me through and beat the spider boss after multiple failures. 
You can find this early in the game from random enemies, so keep an eye out for it. And also check the vendors to see if it's available. Now, next on the list is a submachine gun. If you like submachine guns, the best one to keep an eye out for is the P9000 Worm Stripper. This is the best submachine gun in the game, in my opinion. It's got a clip size of 60 and reload time of 1 second. The best thing about this gun is that it staggers enemies, it keeps them in place while you're unloading your full mag in their prophetic bodies. You will find this around mid game, maybe earlier, just keep an eye out for it. The last gun that I will talk about that you can find very early on is the Overwhelmer. This is sitting in the back of a truck as soon as you start the game, but it is well guarded by enemies from level 18 to 25, so take your chance. If you can get it, it may take you through the whole game. It's got a clip size of 20, a reload speed of 2 seconds. It's basically the Dominator with explosive bullets. Also, it works great on those annoying guys with the shield. So, it's worth risking your life for if you can manage to get to it. Anyway, there are a lot of guns in this game for you to try out as you're going through the campaign, but these few that I mentioned are going to be your best early on until you find something you like better. I promise that I will tell you the best place to invest your skill points if you want to take full advantage of those guns in the game. Weapon handling. It's the best place to put your skill points in order to take full advantage of the running and gunning playstyle. However, you should prioritize vital signs first, followed by weapon handling. Anyway guys, there you have it. The best guns you need early in the ascent. Now, the only thing left for you to do is to go out there and go get them. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section which gun is your favorite so far. If this video helps you in any way, please hit the like button, leave a comment, share, subscribe. I will be most appreciated. Thanks again for watching. See you guys later.